Hey guys, today we get to talk about War of the Sparks, the Mythic Edition. Uh, the Mythic Edition is something that started pretty recently, but it has been happening every single set, where the Planeswalkers will be reprinted, or a really good card will be reprinted, and they have new artwork, their foil, their full art, and you pay $250 worth shipping for a booster box um, you get regular packs but you also get packs that have these planeswalkers in them the selling point is you get your value from one planeswalker which in this case is jace the mind sculptor on the right the bottom right jace the mind sculptor crept over a hundred dollars for the first time in a very long time i do expect that he will now decline uh, ugin is also a very good one value wise and then we have new ones, obviously, like Nico Boles and Gideon Black Blade. The selection is pretty good. You have Nico Boles, you have Gideon, you have Garuk, you have Nahiri, which is a really good one in my opinion. You have Sarkhan Unbroken, which is kind of meh. Uh, Tezzeret the Seeker, also kind of meh. But Ugin and Jace is where the... And then also the new Nico Boles with amazing artwork is where the majority of the value is. I do see them pursuing this and moving. Essentially, I see this being a mass printed product and everyone will be able to get it. The whole point is everyone is able to get it, but there will be scalpers. Um, there is, uh, I'll tell you the story of the mana source. He asked his subscribers, his family, whoever, to go ahead and buy Mythic Editions and when they canceled because they didn't have enough and the website broke, he got really upset when they only wanted to send him one. Now he's sitting on a bunch of these for, quote, charity, a charity that has not happened and is not planned to happen. This type of product is very scalpable. One way to make sure that it's not scalpable is to just mass produce it. And Wizard Coast will make money. So it's a misunderstanding of the secondary market right now if you invest in these. These are not investable. You do see that they double in price. But who's really paying double the price? That's just the asking price. It doesn't mean it's actually worth twice as much the next day. And these sit on the website. They sat on eBay. The last edition sat on eBay for a long time. And it's kind of sad. Uh, it's sad to see that you know, people can't afford them. Because that's the only reason. Um, I mean, even if you don't like them, it still comes with a booster box. And you could sell them individually for more than you paid. And then you get a free booster box. The only reason that I think people are not buying it is because they don't have the capital and and or they don't have people subscribers who will buy them stuff for free so at the end of the day it is a fantastic value everyone and their grandmother knows that this has good value and it will theoretically double in price within the next 30 days 60 days once uh, stock dries up but long term we have to ask ourselves why has this got so expensive? My criticism isn't that Jace is in the set. My criticism is, why is this $250? Why can't we make it, let's say, $150 or $100 and get rid of the booster box itself and just have people buy these eight planeswalkers for $150 or roughly $20 a piece? I think people would be interested in that because then it would be very easy to get play sets of it cheap. But they kind of bundled it with the next step, in my opinion, is they split the bundle. They start selling booster boxes directly, which essentially this is. If you think about it, Wizard of Coast and their new Hasbro Pulse website is selling a booster box. But their booster box is more expensive because it has these eight cards. Or you can view it as they're selling individual cards, but it's coming in this package with a booster box. Um, this survival rate of a store is zero if this is the case. Um, if they sell directly booster boxes, who would be able to outbeat them in price? The answer is nobody because they are the ones who print it. And if they sell singles, obviously they can reprint as many singles as they want. Therefore, who would be able to beat them? 
I think development wise, this is a good development that we consider we can consistently see this product being pushed out. But I do have my grievances. A, it's too expensive. B, you're going to want four of these. So it's $1,000. And $1,000 is a lot of money to anybody. I was actually playing a Fate Grand Order. And I spent over $1,000 on one character, uh, my NP5. Not that you guys would know, but for those small Fate Grand Order fans, I spent $1,250 on one character called uh, John Alter. And it's an NP5. So $1,000 is a lot of money. Now, whether or not you spent it responsibly, that's you know a question I had to ask myself. But it's a lot of money for anybody and to get a play set of them because you're not going to want, maybe you're, you're really EDH, but if you want to play Jace the Mind Sculptor, you're not just going to have a random Mythic Edition Jace. You're going to want four of them. I do agree that it is good. It's cutting into the secondary market. Jace has peaked at 100, 120. He, his price needs to go down. This will help people who are, would buy a hundred dollar jace instead they would just buy this package and split the package hopefully and sell the individual contents uh, the same with ugin uh, ugin this art looks a lot more like his um F fate reforged pre-release art and that art is like 140 150 dollars so this ugin i don't know um it's still a very good card don't get me wrong. I think this is a good or trending. It's much better to buy singles from Wizards of the Coast, in my opinion, to support the game than to buy from a secondary market. Uh, Wizards of the Coast should make money on singles, and that's what they're doing. But I think the price point, it's just $250 is a lot of money to ask. I would much rather have each of these be 20 bucks and the booster box be $100 online. And you still get your $260, but now people can go ahead and buy it. It's the same with a gacha game. It's the same with a lot of these mobile games I play. And they want you to buy this like ultimate package with all of these things in it. But you really only want one thing in it. And it's like, no, can you just give me this one thing for a discount? Instead of making me spend a lot of money. Regardless, JSD Mind Sculptor is... I I'm looking at it. I think it's pretty good artwork. I think it's worth buying this product. Uh, the other thing is uh, local game stores selling booster boxes cannot sell this booster box. And that kind of sucks because um, the premier products is being reserved for Channel Fireball at Magic Fest and Hasbro itself. That doesn't bode well for local game stores. Um, and this is a trend where exclusive product or product that normally is reserved for a game store such as a master set or something like that is now being sent to walmarts and targets but even more so uh, e-commerce is the future so i own a digital marketing agency which you can learn more about uh, my other channel and wizard coach realizes that toys r us is gone walmart is very competitive because there's a million people who want to get into walmart physical walmart stores why don't we just have an e-commerce store? And also eBay is a terrible idea because they take 10 to 15% of your money, which doesn't make any sense. And for a product that already has demand that doesn't need to be promoted, you're, you're the person making the product. You're not a reseller. So why are you using eBay? Especially if you control the only way that people can buy the product. Um, at the end of the day, this is a good buy. I highly recommend buying this if you can afford it. The rich get richer, um, like the Mana Source, who will buy a few thousand copies of this and, and some original artwork. Or not, he'll he'll not buy it. He'll ask his subscribers to buy for him because that's how for charity, right? For charity. And I think it really it is a shame because it really is a shame this would be really excellent if it was twenty dollars a card and then a hundred dollars a booster box or ninety dollars a booster box then they would make their 250 and then they would sell out i think even faster of certain cards i love the set i like the concept i just think the price the price point is the only issue i have um and the bundleness i think that's part of it 
Uh, actually, the price point is not a major issue when I think about it. If they're willing to split up the contents, so Jace can be for fifty, and then Sarkon can be for five bucks and ten dollars. Because if they don't split it up, what happens is resellers are going to split it up, and they're going to gorge. They're going to feed tremendously on the casual players who buy it. And that's a problem. It's not the problem that there's no singles available. No, people like the Mana Source are going to order or be donated a thousand of these, and they'll open them all, and then they'll resell them. It's very sad. Um, I, I really do not like resellers. Uh, resellers who don't provide any convenience or any additional um, anything good, I don't think should really exist. Um, they're just middlemen. But anyway, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna ask you. I'm not gonna ask you to donate a dollar. I'm not gonna cry to you that I lost my job. But I really would enjoy and really appreciate if you could subscribe to this channel because it would mean a lot to me. Anyway, bye, guys.